So recently, I put out a video on the Revenant, uh, basically sharing my secrets on how to make the Revenant strong, uh, covering everything from like the modules to which pilot to use, uh, the pilot skills, and uh, also the right drone chip combinations. And uh, many of you actually came back afterwards and told me that you found it very helpful because now your Revenant is a lot stronger than what it was before, uh, even if it is low level. So I figured, you know what, we're gonna do this for the Favnir today. So in terms of the Favnir, you know, which modules would I use? I've actually tried a lot of combinations, everything from like Nitro units to uh, multiple anti-controls, um, you know, two nuclear amplifiers, for example, which I actually run on my own account. Uh, this combination over here as well. And I usually kind of come back to two combinations. Uh, this is one of them. This is actually the main one. Uh, Anti-control, nuclear amplifier, last stand. Um, the reason for the anti-control is because uh, there's a lot of lockdown and suppression in the game right now and uh, this really helps against that um, also if there's like a typhon trying to use its blackout ability on you uh, trying to emp you um, you know the initial hit this can actually block it so um, yeah definitely very handy um, you could also try two nuclear amplifiers which is what i run on my own account uh, more to ramp up or at least speed up uh, getting to that 80 stacks a lot quicker um, in terms of the pilot though definitely go for this pilot. It makes such a big difference. Um, what this pilot does is it allows you to shoot uh, through energy shields, as you can see here. So if the enemy has um, an energy shield, um, Aegis or an absorber shield, um, you know, you're going to shoot all the way through. Okay, in terms of the uh, pilot skills, this is just basically what I'm running. Um, Roadhog, um, Adamant Roadhog is kind of important. Destroyer is important as well. Armor Expert. So instead of Dodger, what I would actually use for some players, especially if you have um, a lower level Favnir, possibly using something like Mechanic. But otherwise, these are the skills. And the most important part now is actually the drones. So we're going to focus on two defensive drones. Uh, these are actually the most defensive drones in the game, the Persephone and also the Nebula. And the reason why you want to focus on defensive drones is because the Favnir, when it's in flight, you have no resistance. And one way to kind of counterbalance that is to use a drone which has high resistance. And you can always tell based on the amount of uh, square chips. So for example, the Persephone has two, uh, the Nebula has two as well. And um, if you don't have these two drones, uh, you can always go with the Discus. So this one over here has one. And I'll be demonstrating that as well uh, in this video. But um, in terms of the drone chips, okay, so we have on repair unit damage. So anytime I use advanced repair or repair unit, it's going to give me more damage. And uh, we have the on half freeze defense. Now, the reason why I'm using actually two of these is because uh, I know in Champion League, there's a lot of players running uh, snare, scaddy, hell weapons. And this is more to protect me against uh, those weapons in particular. So, you know, when they try to freeze me up, I'm actually getting 160 defense points because I have two of these um, basically building up resistance uh, to those weapons, allowing me to survive for a bit longer. Okay, so we have on mount damage absorber. And for this other one here, we have pretty much the same in terms of the on half freeze. So you can see that. But uh, with this drone, you actually have an effect chip. So you can see I have suppressor. So this allows me to suppress the enemy so I don't take uh, that much damage from them on top of having the defense. So I think this is actually the strongest drone for the Favnir. If I had to choose, you know, I would run this. And uh, what I plan on doing is, like I said, we're going to run actually two games. So the first game is going to have these two drones. And just to do like a comparison, like I did with the other video, we're going to run two discus on the Favnirs in game number two. So that you guys can see just how important having the right drone chip combinations makes in terms of a difference um, you know if you don't have the right combination even if you have a max start mk3 favnir you're going to go down really fast so uh, having said that uh, let's drop into the first game here uh, using these two favnirs uh, one with the persephone and one with the nebula i have started with the arachi first um have a guy behind me and a scorpion and if i can uh, take out that player back there and what I'll do is, because this is beacon rush, you know, I wanted to try to get some beacons first, or at least hold them down. And then after this, I'm going to be dropping in with that Favnir. 
Um, the Persephone one probably first, since that is like more aggressive. And then after that, I'm going to be dropping in with the, uh, the Nebula. Still trying to hold this beacon down here, but unfortunately I don't have any teammates to uh, to attack it. Uh-oh, what's going on over here? Okay, so I'm going to do that just to uh, get rid of this guy. And try to take out some of these uh, players. So a couple of things I want you guys to actually pay attention to. If they do hit me with like scatty weapons, the uh, freeze weapons, you'll be able to see, um, you know, I don't take on damage like I typically would uh, without those defense chips. So it actually does make a huge um, difference. That other guy is moving right behind him. I don't know if he sees him. I need to try to charge up here. Okay, so I know that player has the uh, the pilot uh, for the Favnir. You can see the shield. I'm going to try to move in this direction. I need to actually gather their, their damage. That's why I'm moving in over here. Oh man, that guy actually got me with the, uh, the Typhon. I need to use my ability right now. Let's try to collect all that damage. And hope they uh, keep on shooting me. Let's try to take out that Typhon first. Let's take out this one next. You know what I could have actually done? Let them get that beacon. That way I could actually take them <laughs> all out. I need to uh, get out of here. Let's try to target that player. Oh man, so close. Trying to target that five near there. Um, let's try to do that. Oh, come on, almost. There we go. And this one. Beyond godlike. We uh, had a bit of lag there, but uh, you can see just how effective that is. I'm going to drop in over here with this one. So this is more of a defensive um, build. I don't want to go into flight because if I do that, um, I'm going to get uh, killed. So I'd rather do it this way. Actually, if I can get uh, that guy's attention. The mirror mats, they can charge me up. Take out this guy. If I can take out uh, that fob near. There we go. This player's actually hitting me uh, pretty bad here. I'm gonna drop down. Oh, come on! This is really bad place for me to drop. I did not see uh, this Ravana. That's gonna be bad news for me. I'm trying to actually back away. You know what? I might let them get that beacon just so that I can extend this game. Have another player over there. You know what? I wouldn't be surprised if they drop in over here with a, a Titan. Trying to uh, break that shield of theirs. Someone else. Oh, that Ravon is charging me up. Okay, so once we take out this player, I'm pretty sure they're going to drop in with a Titan over here. So I'm just going to wait because you know it's going to happen. Okay, maybe not a titan, but a bot. Down to their last stand, and this is going to take them out. There we go. Okay, I'm now down to my last stand, but you know what? I'm pretty charged up here. There we go. Just try to do that. I'm going to put down a shield just in case. Can't target that guy. Trying to take out that Orochi. There we go, beyond godlike. Come on, one more kill. There we go, living legend. Trying to take out that Arthur. 
that's gonna do it. It has to. There we go. Benry is down to last stand. That shell is going to, uh, that shield is broken. What is this? Scorpion? That scorpion's almost gone. That player's gonna take me out. So another option I could do here is to drop down, but because the game's almost over, I'm not gonna do that. Oh! You know what? That's actually working in my favor. We might be able to take out that hawk now. Oh, come on! <laughs> can take out this Sharanga. That's just the built-in weapons. Okay, let's drop in with the Luchador. And that's going to be it. So, in the next game, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put actually a Discus drones on my uh, Favnias. And then you guys can see, you know, how I adjust things. Uh, pretty much using the same chips. Um, but obviously, you have less uh, drone chip slots. Okay, so we ended up doing 5.4 million, uh, 15 kills, 3 beacons, and this is how we stacked up. And uh, what I'm going to do now is we're going to run the same uh, Favnias, but this time using the Discus. Okay, so game 2, we have dropped in on Moon Map, and you can see I'm running the uh, Discus. We're going to see how this goes. We need to uh, charge up here in this tunnel first. So we're going to try to do that. Let's just do that. I'm going to use the heal here just in case. And try to focus. Man, they really charged me up there. This guy's got to get out of my way though. Uh-oh. So let's see how we do with this. Trying to focus this guy down. There we go. Another one. I'm gonna take out that other player back there. I'm not sure what he has, but he is hitting me with something. Uh, we have to be careful of the uh, right side as well. And uh, guys, this is like using the discus, okay? So it can be done. You have to have the right chips though. Uh-oh, uh-oh. There we go. Oh geez, there's a lot of players up top here. I'm going to try to help out my uh, teammate. Holy crap. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff. There we go. Rampage. Let's put down a shield. There we go. Godlike. And again, this is using the discus. You can see I'm using the discus here. Um, and again, this, you know, a lot of it has to do with the right drone chip combinations once again. And I've said this before, like even when I did the Revenant, it makes a huge difference. Beyond Godlike. Okay, so we're going to drop in next with the second one. I can try to get these guys to uh, actually charge me up here. Uh, that might be enough. Let's see. And get that guy down to his last stand. Trying to help with this guy. There we go. I'm going to put a heal down here. He's got to stay still. You should see his... Uh, yep, there we go. You can see his Nodens. The health is going up. That's from the uh, Mantis. Some players have asked me, how do I do that? It's from the Mantis Mothership. Um, okay, so they have an Ming back there. I wonder if I can get close enough. Okay, let's see. Gonna go straight for the uh, the Ao Ming. Let's 
So I use the heal to just give me a bit of resistance just in case we're going to target the uh, the Nodens here. Oh actually wait, that's not the Nodens. The Nodens is my teammate. So I'm trying to see if I can hit this, uh, this Arthur. Can we break his shield? I think I'm going to get killed here. I'm trying to break that shield of his. Okay, so... Um, a very good run there with the uh, the two Favnias using the Discus. Let's try to actually... Oh, jeez, we have someone on the left flank. I'm going to try to get the center beacon. You know what? I think my team might be uh, starting to actually bot out here. I wonder if I can maybe move this way. This Arthur's is probably going to hit me with the uh, blast, but if I can get this beacon... I just want to spread the uh, red team out a bit, you know, get this beacon and then move into center and try to clear them out on our end. Uh-oh. Arachi versus Arachi. Still have this guy in center, might as well hit him as well. Try to get his attention here. Okay, my last stand has been uh, triggered. Just try to take out this guy. And I get this beacon if I can. This is going to be close. Did we get it? We got it. Okay, so you know what I'm going to do here is I'm going to ditch this because we need to get our home beacon back on the other side. I'm going to use this. There we go. I had to ditch because we are losing here based on the uh, the beacons. Okay, so they're starting to drop in over here on this side too. You know what? I think this is going to be a very high scoring game. I need to get onto this beacon. Man, we've been four capped. Okay, so let's just do that. I think they're moving closer towards this side. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna need to do that. Oh! Oh, jeez. There's a lot of guys shooting me now. That's two versus five. <laughs> Man, were we down a play or what? Let's just do that. Man, I'm trying to roast up as many players here as possible. There's so many of them. Let's just do that. Holy crap, I'm getting hit by a lot of stuff here. I don't know if this is going to be able to uh, do much, maybe. Um, let's drop in with the Fenrir quickly. I think my... Actually, wait, I was going to say, I think my teammate is in trouble, but now I realize I'm the only one left. We're going to do a 300 here, guys. <laughs> Holy jeez. Yeah, I think we were down a player or something. But you know what? We actually did really well with the uh, two Favnias. And keep in mind, I had the uh, Discus on there. So we're going to take a look to see how we did here. So 9.1 million, 13 kills, 5 beacons in that game. And this is how we stacked up. So before we end things here, I just want to show you guys what I had on the uh, discus. Okay, so we had the on repair unit damage. We have the uh, on repair unit defense this time. And uh, also the on mild damage absorber. So when it comes to the uh, defense chips, quite often I end up using the on repair unit defense or... You know, in the case of the Nebula, which you can actually get in the uh, store now, I do use two of these, the on half freeze defense. I find uh, so far out of the ones that, you know, we can actually build or at least uh, purchase, those two in particular, I tend to use the most. So, um, yeah, definitely kind of experiment if you have the other chips. But um, out of the ones that I've used so far, the on repair and also the freeze one tends to work best. And, you know, I ran it on both of uh, these Discus drones. So anyways, in the comment section below, 
Let me know which robot I should do next for this series. And I think that's pretty much it. So thank you guys for watching. And until the next video, I'll catch you guys later.